I would say to other um, directors, don't be afraid of it. Um, you know, I, I, I totally feel like if there was something that we were struggling with, I could call Jared and say, hey, you know, I, I'm really having a problem. I think there were a couple of words that I had to say. Would you please say these for me? Because, I, you know, he, he sent me a pronunciation guide. He sent me translation. I mean, he gave me everything I could possibly want. But I just, there was a couple of words that I just wanted to make sure that we were doing correctly. He was totally cool with it. You know, it, 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 he's very approachable. He's a real person. Um, I, I would say don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of it. it. It's always scary to take that step outside of your box of comfort. Um, but it's very rewarding. No, I, I agree with Lisa, and she's touching on something I think is really important for, and you know, th this applies to anybody in any field or any project, and that is it's, it's all about people and, and the relationships that you have with people. Um, and that's what I love about music making is the relationship factor. Mm -hmm. um, when, of course, you know, Lisa's really good with that. She has such a good relationship with her kids that it's very easy to walk into to this environment. But um, I think any time that anybody collaborates, um, you always have to look at each other as people um, that you're going to have a friendship with. And so, um, you know, if there's, uh, I don't know, you know I'm not, everybody has stereotypes. I mean, diesel mechanics have stereotypes as well as composers. And, you know, uh, so there may be some kind of, you know, um, uh, hesitation at first. But, yeah, just if you just approach it like you're approaching anybody that you would meet that you're going to get to know as a friend and work with, that kind of thing, that's, I'd, I'd say that's the best approach for everybody. Um, and, and if there's, I mean, we have, a, we have a really fortunate circumstance and that is Lisa and I just get along very naturally. And, um, you know, our families are old friends and, and so um, there's, there's already a comfort level on, on that sense. So, and our personalities just really jive. Um, and in some circumstances, if, if you've got uh, questions, it's, it's, really, it's really okay to not understand something or to not be familiar with something and to give each other all kinds of questions. One thing as a composer that I will, sometimes people will be like, oh, you're a composer. And so there's an intimidation. There. It is. It's that's really, true. It, it's funny because, I mean, you know. And I'm, conducting your piece. The first time he told me I was conducting and he was playing, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> no. Well, I just wanted to sit in the audience and go, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> but no. <laughs> so, but I mean, and that's because, you know, sometimes there's a stereotype that the composer has this, like, they're the, the uber divas, actually, yeah. in the classical world. Yeah. And it's it's not necessarily the case. Um, but, but Lisa... Uh, uh, was you know would ask questions and I'm really glad about that sometimes people will preclude a question by saying well I, I'm gonna ask you a dumb question or I think this is a dumb question but when you're getting to know each other there's never any dumb questions I mean if it has to do with music or race or profession or anything like that there's never a dumb question when you don't know something about somebody else's process or or where they're coming from and so whenever anybody's collaborating like this one, I think one thing that's really critical is that that they both just understand, you know, questions go yeah. Just be, just be an open book, you know, an open slate, and just be able to ask each other very candid questions and feel safe with each other like that. Well, and my students have felt that way working with you too. I mean, you've been very accessible. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, you're just down to earth, and and I think they all felt very comfortable in asking you things, and and but but that was an effort on your part to put them at ease because, yep. you know, I was like, mm -hmm. okay, you've got to be this. Yep. <laughs> but you did. You came in and, and, and very, um, you know, you're very easy to work with and very easy to get along. You're not at all the, the uber diva composer <laughs> well, <laughs> that no, I set you up to be. No. I, I, I appreciate that. I, I really do. And, you know, that's, that's another thing that I guess the composers can think about. Is, I mean, I think sometimes a composer will think, will, will look a little bit like standoffish because they're actually nervous. You know themselves, and well, because I mean, it's actually it can be very nerve-wracking. school you know? can be intimidating. I mean, yeah, they are their own little people. That's and right. That's there's right. good days and there are bad days, <laughs> depending on the hormone balance that's, that day. That's, that's very very true. <laughs> so I mean, it's, you know, composers can also you know uh, uh, look to you know to shed fears as well before going in, and again, just remembering it's you know it's think of it like going to a family reunion or a Thanksgiving dinner. You know, it's where you're already just like, ah, it's just family and kids and nieces and nephews, that kind of thing. If you kind of look at it like that, like family people, then I think that can help everybody just, you know, just kind of relax nice. and not worry about things so much, you know.